The movie begins with two men transporting a chemical tank in a car. During their journey, they hit a deer in the middle of the road, causing one of the tanks to be thrown into the river. The river carries the tank to where a group of beavers lives. The tank leaks and sprays the chemicals onto the beavers. At a gas station, three women named Mary, Zoe, and Jen are filling up their car to go on vacation. After entering the area of their vacation spot, a man is seen fishing on a lake. When his fishing rod feels heavy, he tries to pull it in. However, the rod is thrown into the water. A creature emerges from behind and attacks the man. Upon arriving at Mary's cousin's house, they are greeted by Mary's aunt, Myrne Gregerson. She tells Mary that if they need anything, she is in a house not far from there. Myrne's husband, Winston Gregerson, is also seen. They enter the house and Jen goes to the bathroom. There, Jen checks her phone and finds there is no signal. Zoe knocks on the bathroom door. Jen comes out and sits on the sofa with Mary. Zoe then screams that there is no internet signal. Because of this, Mary suggests they go swimming in a lake. They swim and sunbathe on a raft in the middle of the lake. Mary spots a pile of wood, which is the beaver's home. They swim over to inspect the beaver lodge and notice green chemicals scattered around. Suddenly, they hear a gunshot, and it turns out to be a hunter named Smith. Smith says he is looking for something in the area. They return to the house. That night, while enjoying their meal, someone knocks on the door, and Zoe goes to check outside. Suddenly, the door locks itself. From a distance, someone is seen running, and it turns out to be Tommy, Mary's boyfriend. Buck and Sam, the boyfriends of the others, follow him. They enter the house. In the living room, Sam and Jen are arguing about their relationship. Meanwhile, others are conducting forbidden experiments in a room. Jen and Sam argue because Jen was told by a friend that Sam cheated at a party. Jen goes to the bathroom. There, she hears someone pounding. Approaching the noise, she discovers a zombie beaver. Scared, she screams and runs to Sam. They all go to the bathroom with a baseball bat. The beaver appears, and Tommy kills it with the bat, then puts it in a plastic bag outside the house. The next day, they all go swimming in the lake and find that the creature Tommy killed has come back to life and escaped from the plastic bag. They swim in the lake while Mary and Sam are on a raft, and Jen stands alone on the shore. When Jen is about to enter the water, she feels something moving on her leg. Buck is pulled underwater by something and resurfaces with a severed leg. They panic and try to climb onto the raft. There, Buck is bitten by a beaver. Jen runs into the house to call the police, but the beaver has cut the phone line. The beaver tries to approach them and damages the raft they are on. Sam throws Zoe's dog to distract the beaver. After the dog is eaten by the beaver, they swim to the shore and try to enter the house. Meanwhile, Jen is attacked by the beaver that Tommy had killed earlier. Fortunately, Jen stabs it with a knife and runs to unlock the house door. That night, Tommy and Zoe try to take Buck to the hospital in Mary's car. They leave the house and manage to get into the car. Meanwhile, Sam and the others try to close the doors and all windows to prevent the beaver from entering the house. Myrne, watching from a distance, seems worried about Mary's situation. But her husband says they are having a party and tells his wife not to interfere. Then they see Winston's dog has turned into one of the beavers. On the way to the hospital, they find a fallen tree blocking the road, preventing them from continuing. They get out and see a truck. Tommy approaches it and takes items from the truck. He then gives Zoe an ax and tells her to go back to the house while he walks to seek help. In the car, Zoe hears Tommy screams as he is killed by a tree felled by the beaver. Then Smith arrives and manages to shoot the beaver. They get into the car and try to return to the house. Inside the house, Sam has closed all doors and windows but the beaver manages to gnaw through the wood. As they are stabbing and hitting the beaver, it stops attacking them because of Zoe's arrival in a truck. They try to enter the house, but unfortunately, Sam has sealed the door from the inside. They then try to go to Myrne and Winston's house. Upon entering, they find Winston has been killed by the beaver. Smith tries to go upstairs and finds Myrne dead in the upstairs room. While Mary is sleeping, 
Jen enters her room and climbs on top of her. Suddenly, Jen turns into a beaver-like zombie and attacks Mary. Then Sam arrives and manages to hit her with a baseball bat. Meanwhile, as Smith and Zoe look out the window, suddenly Buck turns into a zombie and attacks Smith. Buck tries to eat Smith, causing his death. Zoe shoots them with a sniper rifle and flees upstairs. In a room, suddenly the deceased Mern rises again and attacks Zoe. Zoe tries to shoot her, but her gun is out of bullets. She then attempts to jump out of the window. Sam and Mary are attacked by the beaver from underground. They run and enter the bathroom. Mary tells Sam to strip to check for beaver bites. Mary also undresses, and they engage in forbidden experiments in the bathroom, ignoring everything happening around them. The beaver bites an electrical cable, electrocuting itself and starting a fire. Mary smells the smoke and stops the forbidden experiment. Suddenly, Jen emerges from below and bites Sam, killing him. Mary tries to escape the house, but all doors and windows are sealed. Then a car arrives, and it turns out to be Zoe. Mary gets into the car, and they flee. On the road, they encounter Smith, who shoots at the car, causing Zoe to lose control and crash into a tree. Zombies try to attack them. Zoe restarts the car and continues driving. Winston and the beaver manage to cut down a tree, blocking the road. At dawn, they leave the car because the road is blocked by a fallen tree. As Zoe and Mary walk together, Mary suddenly points a gun she found in a truck at Zoe, but then she turned into a zombie. Zoe then strikes her with an axe, killing her. At the end of the movie, Zoe walks until morning when she sees an approaching car. She tries to wave for help, but the driver, distracted by their phone, hits Zoe. And the film ends. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. See you in the next video.